Hello, in this video I will show you how to use tables, uh, these primitive simple tables in Azure DevOps Wiki. Now, we get started of course in the Wiki itself. Right here you have your Wiki page uh, created, you can have your title and all that other stuff. Uh, and then you see this table options thing. And yes, you can create a table like that. You just uh, go here for example go here and create a table of whatever size you want but it won't really function that well if you want to add more stuff later a few more rows a few more columns it simply won't work so it's a good idea to actually know how to do it sort of manually right right here we have a manually written table and first of all we have key value, just a simple example table, right? Key value, okay, and then this little separation thing. So this basically makes them a bit gray, okay, that makes them a bit gray, and these are the column names, that's what they are, this is what uh, the whole thing is basically for. So you have the column names, and below the column names you need uh, this kind of an arrangement, okay? Nothing too fancy here. We have this, and then we have our values, okay? So everything's separated in the same order. You have this slot, and this slot, and this slot, and that slot for one single column. Now, they are not obviously in line. These two are in line, in the same vertical line, and it's easy to sort of recognize, but uh, obviously that's not always going to be the case, and that can become quite messy. But you still have the same idea. You have your column, and everything goes into the column in the text editor. Then the second one, value, and then the separator, and then value one, value two. Everything goes into the same column. Now, if you want to add another column, you need to add everything, okay? So let's say call three, okay? Add this thing right here. Now, this character you will usually find near the backspace uh, uh, key on your keyboard. Uh, there's also the equals sign key on your keyboard, uh, sort of on the top on the top part of your keyboard you'll probably need to click shift and then that particular key and you'll find it it may be in a different place on different layouts but that's one of the places you can find it so now it's call free okay call free so let's see what it looks like in here doesn't look like a table right it failed it failed it failed completely what you need to do again is do everything everything right here okay so now we have something that looks like a table okay so you need that name for the column and then the separator and then you have empty space at, the, at this point okay and then if you want to add uh, say val one like that you need to separate that again and now two you need to separate that again so this is how you separate them again you have to have everything in place in order for it to work you can't just start dropping values okay now if i were to say remove this and this okay we have two columns uh, sort of declared we have values more values when we need and they don't show up we have key value and nothing else right here okay nothing else now, this is the wiki, you find it right here, and if you're not familiar with uh, the whole Azure DevOps arrangement, it is very useful, it is completely free. I believe it's more modern and more straightforward, and it has more feature than the old GitHub. And you can take a look at my simple course uh, about this uh, whole arrangement. You'll go from start to finish, and uh, you will be able to use this whole thing after watching that course you can also upload everything from visual studio quite smoothly and quite easily also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and good luck to you